A community is in shock tonight after an alleged terror attack plot in their backyard. I'm Tina Yazdani, live in Kingston, where a national security investigation resulted in the arrest of two people last night. One of them has now been released. We caught up with him at his family home just over an hour ago. No, it's just accusations. Yeah, because uh, there is someone, I make conversation with him, yep. that he is like involved with him. Yeah. Uh, make like some some public stuff it's just misunderstanding 20 year old Hussam Adin al zahabi has been released from jail after a tumultuous 24 hours he was arrested at work but he tells us police leader busted open the door of his family home and raided it so they arrested you where did they take you they take me to police department yeah uh, which in which is in uh, in Divin street mm -hmm. yeah and what did they say to you there they said to me, just like go to the, the what is it called, the prison. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and they take it off all the stuff like the belt mm -hmm. and the, the jacket and the sweater and this is and this uh, t-shirt. Mm -hmm. yeah. The news comes as a relief to those who knew the family. Bronik Krasinski helped sponsor them through his church when they moved to Canada in 2017 after spending nine years in Kuwait and Syria before that have been committed to building a new life for themselves. So they've been hardworking, uh, they've been nothing but cooperative. Krasinski tells us the 20-year-old was upgrading his high school marks and has high aspirations for his life in Canada. It's a wonderful young man. Uh, uh, he's very goal-orientated uh, uh, almost from his arrival. He's made it clear that he wants to take advantage of educational opportunities. He aspires to be a computer engineer, a computer programmer. He's done everything to make that happen in the last year and a half. Earlier today, a police transport van pulled into Kingston's criminal court with a minor charged with terror-related offenses. He listened with a smile on his face as a list of charges were read against him. Now, the minor was remanded in custody and will be back in making his next appearance on January 28th. And the RCMP wouldn't elaborate on how the two people they arrested knew each other, only saying that they were friends.